What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and it's time for another Toku Brew podcast. This week in Toku, with me as always is the always ready to throw things at me for a bit, <laughs> always willing to help me out with my weird shenanigans. My lovely, beautiful fiance. Oh, thank you. I'm Stormy. Finally, was able to finish a sentence this week. Yeah, you almost had it, buddy. You almost had it. No, I got it. Anyway, we're back with the Double D's show. <laughs> you took my line. <laughs> you took it. But yeah, check it out. We got Double D's. We got Decker and Don Brothers. Whoop. Put your D's on. My big flaming D's. And uh, which one do you want to start with first? Uh, the... Do you want to do it in the way we watched it? Or do you want to do it in... Sure. I guess so, why not? Yeah. I guess it, we'll mix it up from last time. So yeah, we're gonna do Decker first. Mm -hmm. Very interesting episode. Yeah. I don't know if there's a whole lot to really talk about outside of just like interesting concepts. Yeah, but like... first things first. What aspect? I I told I said last time I was gonna show you the music video. We have since watched said music <gasps> video. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, yeah. I saw two of the people in it that looked a lot like some of the other, like, got select members from Trigger, and I thought it was them for a second, and I almost died, but it wasn't. You're like human Jurans here. Yeah. Human yeah, oh, yeah, it was that was the voice actor, wasn't it? No, it wasn't the voice actor, but like, yeah, that... in the, you remember in the Zenkai Red special when they all became yeah, human? Yeah, human him. Yeah, he was the human. I forgot. I keep forgetting about that, but yeah, I was like, I recognize that beard. And then there's, you know, um, Titus's true human host. Oh yeah, yeah, the candy shop owner from Geed. He owned is the candy. Also yeah, he also. Dude, was you can't throw trivia at me like that. I don't know shit that well. Either way, it wasn't them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Long story short, well, sorry, they sorry. weren't there. Long well, story short, uh, meaningless. But it really just kind of felt like I was watching those like old 90s like dance aerobic vhs tapes that a billion people made but i don't know anyone that actually like bought and used them <laughs> yeah i really except like for weirdly horny dudes like master roshi he fair, watches those fair. all day yeah um uh, i really liked a lot of like the little light effects yeah was really nice everyone seemed real excited to be there yeah it's funny the main singer i believe yeah like he looked dead inside at the very beginning he looked like he did well anytime he was in the suit he was almost like yeah. he's dead inside it was probably really hot in that like with all the lights and, and or it was dance. for the bit yeah you... but then once yeah once he got in his aerobics gear he got <laughs> started some... dancing then that's when he was like yeah and he's like all smiley and oh happy. my god and then seeing them all do like the decker throw the arm up and I really feel like the dancing that I saw in this is, like, how I think I dance, like, in my head, but in reality, I'm just, like, flailing. I mean, Especially yeah, like, they're like, doing these aerobic circles, like, going. Oh my gosh, yeah, when they were, like, <laughs> rolling on the ground, I was like, I do that, I used to do that, like, in, like, gym class, if I was, like, we weren't really doing anything, and I was just bored. I used to do stuff like that, and I'm like, was I aerobicsing and not knowing it? Like... <laughs> The answer is, I guess. I guess so. Um, it was really weird. It was a, like, I don't... A weird, a good weird. Yeah, it was just so funny because, like, like the dude was just in, like, for a good chunk of it, in a red suit. While these dudes in, like, bright, like, shining silver, maybe even tinfoil tank tops and whatever else with oh red God. shorts. And random parts of them. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh. Also, some of them had the reverse, where they had, like, pants or, like, shirts. That were like silver tin foil with red tank tops, but like they were going for broke. As this guy just kind of sat there and he's like, he's like, "There's nothing out of place around me. These are just my regular backup dancers." And I'm like, "Is this what backup dancing is now?" I'll ne make sure to do some squats next time I'm on the oh dance God. floor. When I saw the, the freaking dance people, like there were some people that had. Um like other people like on their shoulders and then they would like dip into a squat to the beat and i'm like oh my god their glutes are gonna burn they're gonna be sore tomorrow they will be powerful 
just the most powerful thighs and the most steely of buns. It's just... Oh my god. It's just so weird that we got this this fast, but it's also hilarious that we got... Like, this. Like, I... I don't know. I remember watching Trigger's music video and it wasn't that. It was just... It was kind of a normal music video. Yeah, and like, this was just honestly kind of a ton of fun and it just kind of worked with the song overall. Yeah, again, like, just... I, I think the more I listen to this song, the more I like it. Again, definitely, even from the beginning, I was like, this is not a bad song, but I'm just not like, you know, banging my head and vibing. Like I could jam to this, though. It's like, yeah, it's definitely a good song and it's like, definitely I'll put it in my Spotify playlist, but like... I don't know if I'd, like, directly seek it out. I'm not quite there yet. You're like, Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll throw it into a shuffle mix, but I'll never seek yeah. it out. Uh, though, I will admit the longer version was better. Yeah. I feel like it just flowed a little better. Um, but to get into the actual episode, like, they just accepted for a year. Well, I that... imagine it's not for lack of trying. What do you yeah. think they tried first? So they like <laughs> Shoot a, a missile at it! So the... <laughs> Let's blow that shit up! It didn't work. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Um, but yeah, so the sphere's shield is still around the planet, and we have a year time jump. And Decker only became the Ultraman that one time, and hasn't yeah. been since. And we see that they've been in training. And he's been trying to get it the whole time. Yeah, and they've been like doing their best to try and get into Gut Select for a year now and training for it and it's kind of nice because usually it's just i like your spirit kid here's a jacket with your name on it you're a part of gut select now it's kind of nice to see that like not only are they like really working hard and working for it and training but also like the person that like i i feel like it's not that big of a fucking spoiler it's in the theme song that they do end up in gut select but like it's that and having that, having a good soul. It's like, yeah, it's like, it feels like they've also earned it on, like, a moral Well, yeah, like, that's level. the episode, honestly. Like, because, and it's like, and it's like, like, that's the whole reason they were chosen is because, like, they saw that they had their heart in, in the right space. Well, yeah, and, like, that's the whole reason, um, and, like, that's Decker like, joins, like, uh, yeah. As Asumi, I think his actual name is. Yeah. I can't remember. I remember him, Raymond, and the principal's name. I don't know his name. And then there's girl. Girl. I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. I, we will we eventually. We will learn. We will learn eventually. But it was a really good episode, honestly. It's like, you just see, like, um, like, Decker is just trying his best. He's not even first place. He's 12th. Yeah. But he's trying his damn in everything he does. And again. He's such, the heart of a champion. Such a big difference from Asuka, where it's like, <laughs> if he wasn't, like, on the top, he'd be bitching the whole time. Well, like, yeah, he'd be like, mm, or, like actually. Because they get separated into, like, groups of three to do this, like, training exercise. And, of course, you know... The Everybody Raymond, loves Raymond. Of course, you know, it's Raymond, girl, and Decker. So it's like... But he comes up to Raymond, and he's like, Hey, uh happy to work with you like he's not like good on you bro the leader like he's not like fussing about it like i know oscar would have uh, probably at some point in the series just being like wow and there's like a lot of like honestly i still love that character at what point he just steals a kid's manga just so he can read it true story stole a kid's what manga oh manga i thought you said monk yeah he stole his whole monk season disc collection <laughs> anyway I feel like there's a lot of really good conversation between these three, though. Yeah, like, it's like, I like the I like their dynamic. It's yeah. an interesting dynamic. It feels like Raymond and Decker are very much on, not necessarily opposite ends of, like, the spectrum on how to look at being, what being in Gut Select means, I guess. And or just and how to be a person. And she's kind of, like, the mediator to kind of, like, see both sides and see the pros and cons of the whole situation, which is always a good thing to have. Yeah, yeah. the other two just... Like, Decker really wants to get along with Raymond. He really you does. You will be my friend and you will like it. And Raymond's like, how about no Uno reverse? And, she, and she's like, hey, uh, really sure it's gonna happen. She probably just let it happen. And like, yeah, and like, uh, like I guess. <laughs> and it's literally just, um, and like, you even hear, like, like, hear rumors amongst their other, like, cadets being like oh we already heard somebody was chosen it's so and so 
and whatever. So it kind of made that interesting where you're just like, wow, this is, you actually get to see what it takes to get gut select instead of, like you said, even in trigger where it's just like, you know what? You got some good hood spa on you, kid. Get on our dragon ship. Uh, I also like that you get to see each of the characters, like, reasons for joining Gut Select. Like, like I, I remember we saw Os- And their logic Osme, between... I almost said Asuka. Uh, Decker. His name is Osme, right? Yes, Okay. So I we, think. And we, <laughs> if I'm wrong, sorry, but Decker. Like, we see him, like, staying behind late and doing extra training. And then he just kind of, like, lays on the ground and looks at a picture of his mom and dad missing them because they haven't been able to communicate because of this big shield around the planet. And I felt really bad. Yeah, you're probably just... really wor- they don't know what's going on up there. And last I heard, they were getting attacked by a monster. So yeah, like it it really does make you, but it also makes you wonder. What if Trigger's just up there, like like yeah, Andor is just in the earth. He's just like, eh, I'm just gonna nap I'm here. See chill. you guys later. <laughs> I'm just gonna nap here for a couple uh, couple five more, more years. Uh, yeah, it's like an alarm clock. He's like, and everyone's like, hey, like you, you and is like somewhere trying to white mage him. Like Kengo, you need to wake up. Five more minutes. Oh, I don't wanna. Somebody else is up there. I know it. Just leave me alone. It's fine. <laughs> five but, more uh, minutes. Yeah, it's like we, we just. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what what happened The principal was a badass. Oh yeah, he was bad. It's so cool to see like such like a very chill, but very kind. Yeah. person and then they just kind of like be like all right badass time and then they just kick ass it's really yeah cool. like he actually got to fly the guts falcon yeah and you were wondering like oh well, he's actually in the thing it's like yeah they don't have remote control he can't exactly vr like how what's her face did crazy lady did like and Love i her. i'm not gonna lie though i'm so glad to see that again because it's just like oh my god finally our pilots can actually pilot things. Well, I mean, she could too. Yeah, but she never did it in yeah, the she show. she wasn't in the ship, but that doesn't mean that she wasn't piloting it. Yeah, and I'm not taking away from her. I mean, I understand what you mean, but it's like, the way it came out was like, excuse me. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, there's just... I will not tolerate that in this house. And then we may... <laughs> but yeah, no, so the principal with uh, other lady... With monster research lady. Um, it's just like, oh, is everything ready to go? And she's like, eh, maybe not yet. Great, I'm going. <laughs> He's like, alright, I'm taking the other ship. See you later. Because a monster shows up with horns. Yeah, I forget which one it was. I don't know. It, I know it, it, it's not one of those designs, I feel like. It. It's not Ella King. I know that. That's the only thing I can think of. It has big deer horns. Yeah, it was in something recently. I've, it's like, this is Whatever. not the first time I've seen it. But uh, anyway, he gets to transform into Decker again. Yeah, he's just like, he's like, I have to do it now. Because, like, I guess we should say that they were on, like, they were on a, a cadet training, training, yeah, training exactly. mission. I mentioned it. Well, no, but, like, we didn't say what the, like, they had to walk a certain distance and go to certain checkpoints. Yeah, in, in a to, time frame. Yeah. And so they have a team leader, like you said. So Raymond was the leader. And, like, they were pretty much arguing the whole time. And Raymond's just like, I'm moving at a pretty decent pace. And then she's just, then, like, girl was just and like. Earthquakes, and then yeah. No, wait. But then the girl was just like, yeah, but you're not considering the people who are behind you. You need to take that into account. Yeah. And then an earthquake happens. And then, and yeah. Decker freaking, like. Breaks his ankle. <laughs> ragdolls down a hill for a second and, like, hurts his leg. Well, because they were arguing about how they yeah. should do things. Yeah, and he, uh, Raymond immediately was like, okay, I need to call it in and we need to... We're calling quits. We, we we're need in. to go back because, obviously, we not only will you probably hurt yourself finishing this in the long run, but we've basically already failed. We won't be able to make up enough time to get there on time. And Decker's like, well, I feel like we should still finish you know yeah and so they get into an argument try we should at least try yeah and then like she and then like girl like you said was the middle ground it was just like yeah Look, let's I, see let's go a little bit further and if he doesn't seem like he's holding up well at all then, we will. then let's just stop it's it, just like because she could understand both sides of the argument sides and then the monster happen. wakes up yes. under conveniently conspicuous boulders yeah. and then again like he turns into decker again yeah, he's just like, yeah, well, they were helping this old man, yeah, and, like, that's when he came in on, and then that's when the, when the guy, principal came in on the Falcon, and it was just like, ugh, and then he was just like, oh my god, they're over there, ah! Like, like, take a shot, like, a yeah, take, takes it, 
takes an little. G. Yeah, just just gets decimated after taking out one of its horns. Like, oh yeah, they're they like, were immediately like, he's like, aim for the horns. Got it. Pew, pew, pew. Got it. And then it's like, oh god, it didn't do anything. By the way, that. <laughs> She's like, oh, aim for the horns. Once it loses a horn, it'll lose its will to fight. I swear to God, I thought it was going to say it'll lose its will to live. <laughs> like, he, he just fucking Padme's over there. <laughs> He's like, he uh... Dies. I've lost my will to live. Just explodes. <laughs> yeah, it just explodes. Out of heartbreak. But yeah, and then, again, Decker happens. Yeah, Decker shows up, and, and his up. ankle doesn't get fixed. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, my leg still hurts, uh... Which I wonder if is one of the things that they will notice and be like, oh. That's what I thought um, Girl was picking up on. Yeah, I imagine that'll probably be one of the puzzle pieces. Um, in this episode came with three new dimension cards. And it, it honestly reminded me of Pokemon because he got a pick from yeah, the three capsule p- capsule monster. And yeah, he chose... Like we haven't seen in a while. We haven't... I'm down. And it's like, because so it's, it's not idea. the same as like Zet's idea. Yeah. Where it's like, those were definitely, like, armored mechas. Like, the ones where, like, how Decker's doing it feels completely different. Like... Yeah, what was it that... It was, uh, Seven Seven's Capsules Monster. Cosmos, was it? I get... I think Cosmos, but you know who else has one? Like, this is his whole thing. Is, uh, Raymond. Different Raymond. <laughs> I was um, that, really? Ray, um, uh, who is a Ray Blood, And, like, that's his thing. He oh. also summons them. That's cool. It's just something we don't really get to see a yeah. lot, especially for just, like, an ultra. Yeah. Usually it's, like, a person on the ground that's just summoning the monsters rather than an ultra itself. Yeah. And so which one would you pick? If, if I were to You were given pick... a choice. Yeah, you just, you didn't get a, you didn't know any of them. Who would you pick? Like. I feel like I would probably pick Wyndham, but there's a chance I would probably pick... Uh, Agura. Agura. I like the third one, the one that he ended up choosing. Meculus, yeah. I do like Meculus, but oh my god, is he derpy. I love how I derpy he is. Went, I probably would have went with Wyndham, I'll admit. I would always go with Wyndham. Because he's just a robot chicken Big man. Robot chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. <laughs> it's a lot. So, yeah, no, it was honestly a really fun episode we also get to see the gut hawk come in and help out oh, heck yeah. so yeah so we only we get decker teaming up with meculus but we also get the guts hawk yeah. and then like the principal's just like sitting there like after what you might call it gets back um when decker gets back to being human and everything they're all about to get to argue about what the hell they're doing because we're like you like, know, why were you out here? You were supposed to evacuate because obviously once a kaiju showed up, they were like, "Ah, oh, exercise is over. Evacuate." Get yeah, they're all like, out of there. like right after they were done arguing about quitting or not, the the principal was just like, "It's game over. I'm putting on my new jacket, so um, it's over. Bye." But um, anyway, yeah, and he sees them, and they're like helping on like their these feet, running back and forth, helping civilians, making sure that they're okay, and you know just doing some damage control and then that's basically what pushes them over the edge and being like you're uh, we'll deal well, with no. your punishment later follow your freaking orders but you will be a part of gut select because again he knew that their hearts are in the right place and yes so they got their jackets they got their team jackets and, oh, they look good i like the orange i really like i the like orange. the orange way more than i like the white but i still think super guts is my favorite of the jackets i don't remember that one looks it's like, like the gray the and white, red the white does look really nice but i really liked this orange this yeah it's like a really nice like we i feel like the older i get I the more i like the color orange yeah i really I, well i've come to appreciate it i it's almost kind of uh, i wouldn't say a burned orange but very much like the orange that like leaves turn i would into say, before they turn red i know? was gonna say it looks more like traffic cone orange and i maybe. love it or maybe just you know the color of the fruit orange like a nice deep or sunset for our lord and savior Maybe guy i actually found an accurate like description like like your guy one like isn't that about the same orange no i would still say it's a little bit different like a boxy. but um anyway it was just a it's just they just look super nice and i would love to like i i'm not super into cosplay i like to get more into it and i need more experience and supplies and a will to do things but i would love to make like custom jackets at some point 
Yeah. With like our names on it. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, uh, it's interesting because this time they don't have their names on the jackets. They don't? Or at least not yet. I thought they did. But, or do you mean like, oh, they're just new? Well, yeah, they might just be new. That's like my theory right at the moment. I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah. I I always look out for names on the back of jackets. Um, But... It was honestly really cool because it's like, because you know these were going to be our gut select members. We already yeah. are aware of this. So it's like, and, I'm glad and it's like, well, just dwell on it. like, oh, are they going to get it? It's like, well, yeah, we know. Yeah, even though. Um, literally in the title sequence. Like, even though ja- in the jackets. In the jackets, yeah. It's like, um, no. I like that, like, again, they didn't make Decker this perfect person or good at shooting or anything. He's just trying his best. I love that. Yeah. And. And overall, I had a lot of fun with this episode. I can't wait for another one. Yeah, yeah I feel like a lot of oh, this wait. has been established. We met a new character, and they're the most important. Oh, yes, yes. H-A-N-E-2. Roomba Hajimero. Hajimero, but Roomba. if him and Weebo from from <laughs> Flubber had a weird love child, oh. it's still cute as hell. You immediately bought a figure of it when you first saw that it existed. I was like, I need that vinyl. It's really cute. It is super cute. Oh, wait, oh no, I was thinking I don't of have him yet. I like, oh, I have that too, but... I was thinking of other Hajimero. Oh, no, I, I bought the other one. It's, I just don't have it in yeah. my possession uh, yet. If you're, if you're wondering, she's not here right now. Uh, Maggie did like this episode as well. <laughs> she gave it two grunts out of ten. Yeah. Wait, that makes it sound bad. <laughs> I meant two grunts out of three. Yeah. That sounds better. Two grunts out of three. <laughs> but, um, yeah, on the, Don, on the Dom Brothers? Yeah, I, again, just a lot of establishing in Decker. Really good foundation so far. Looking I'm forward, really interested. Like, I wasn't expecting them to just be like, I was expecting it to be like, okay, maybe a couple of months, like, time forward, no, but like a whole, whole year. year. That's I like that yeah. honestly. All right, and we it's... gotta get to an amazing episode of Dawn Brothers. Oh, that is it amazing? Yes, I love I love I legitimately love this episode. This is probably one of my favorites now. Okay, all okay. right, all right. It has everything I need. <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah, this it was a very spooky episode. Do you do I you want to start? I'll let you go first. Oh my god, man. I, I want, I've just been like, with the weather getting hotter, because it's summer, I've just been like, I want it to be fall, why can't it be Halloween yet, and you've been all like, upset with me, you're like- I'm not upset, you're just trying to make time move faster than I it needs- I want it to be Halloween, and obviously, uh, this was a good spooky fix for me. The Spix? <laughs> Spix. But, um, so, uh- there's so much good stuff in this. I'm going to talk about this for a long time, apparently. Uh, so, it so basically starts off with... Uh... A tele- sister? Old, old telephone booths. Like, there's, like, some stuff before, but it's, like... No, whatever. not not even. It's, like, Oni's sister, or her Haruka, her, Haruka with her aunt. So she's at least relevant. Aunt. Yeah. She's like, oh, kids and cell phones. It was yeah, she's like, you kids, you kids. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so much more romantic to like wait by a a, a, a phone painful booth. at night. Yeah, so that you know, and or just talking about like like kids. yeah, pretty much just being like back in my day, I used to have to walk three miles to tell my person I wanted to get a blowjob. Oh my god. <laughs> also, I make her sound way jail. older. Horny jail. I'm, I'm go- you. I'm going to horny jail. Yes. Okay. Uh. But, um, so yeah, like, the aunt was like that, and just being like, pretty much just being like, oh, kids these days, yeah. that they're texting. And, uh, we see Haruka, and she... Is talking I mean, with the one guy I mean, again? Like, I mean, she gets teleported away because of a monster. Oh, yeah, because she wants a snack. Yeah, and then the monster disappears... And she's like, oh, there's a girl in that phone booth. I I guess she just probably hid in it. And honestly, solid thought process. Solid thought process. Well, yeah, nobody's using it. Yeah. And she notices, like, I think later on, because she, she, like, obviously pops back into her place. And then she goes and bikes away to it. And she's still there. And she's like, you okay? You sick? You all right? And uh, she's dead. She is a ghost. 
And can I just say... Not even like, immediately. Like, she literally just goes... So, is this an actress that we recognize? Because I basically saw her as, like, the love child of Izu and Tsukiyomi. Like, she looks like a perfect combination of those two actresses. Shukazu. Shukazu, as we dubbed her. And... Yeah, she's waiting for she, a man to call. Yeah, she's waiting for her, like, boyfriend to call her. Because... <laughs> And she's from, like, the freaking 70s, if I remember. Something. Because her skirt definitely came from the 70s. I'll look up when she died. <laughs> but, um, so, basically what we learned was, like, oh, she was waiting for a call from her boyfriend at the payphone, and she died in an accident. And we'll learn more about that later. And, and apparently, for whatever reason, Harka is the only one that can really see her. So she goes to... The other Don bro, she goes to Saru brother and Kaji brother and obviously owner. And, yeah. And they can all, like, obviously Kaido can see her perfectly fine because of course, of course, but the others have to like hold their breath to look at her, which yeah. is so unnecessary in such a delightful way. Like, it's just like the extra little bit of like. It, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a hoop they didn't need to jump through, but I'm really glad they did. <laughs> yeah. Also, this episode was just called Hello, Ghost. Yeah. Like, that, doesn't she look like Izu and Tsukiyomi? Just yeah. fusion danced. <laughs> yeah. And, like, and she's just, like, she had such a charming personality. She was very bubbly, very bouncy. I really, I really... Oh, yeah, she went her. on dates with all of the, all the men's except for Kaji, brother. She did, or saw her brother. What's she that went, say about Saru, brother? She went on a date with Kaido. Kind of. <laughs> she kind went of. on a date with Inoue, brother, and she went on a date with Taro. So, of course, you can see why I love this episode. It's ghosts. It's romance. So, who do you want to get into first? So, let's go to Taro first, because he was first. Because, uh, By the way, the only reason that she's like going on a date with these guys is because... She's trying to she's, pass on? She's, uh, she's like has like this like image in her head of what her boyfriend looked like what was his name like um Shizu or whatever it was? shinazo uh, something they said it like 50 times I, in the episode I, I just suddenly can't remember but anyway she has this like picture in her mind of like what he looks like and the picture, it's a picture of Kakashi. and of course our manga artist does a beautiful recreation of it it basically just kind of looks like Kai was it Kaido it kind of looked like Kaido but like before his hair got dark and he had lighter hair in a way in a way but um um Shinzo so, Shinzo. Shinzo that's what it was that's it so and, like, it's like, oh, you kind of look like him, you know? And she's all, like, <gasps> starry. I'm like, hi, oh, are you Shinzo? And then they're just like, what? Yeah, they're just and like... And they go on dates with her. Right. And honestly, it's so freaking cute because she's honestly super into it. Like, you would think it would just be like, ah, oh, you're not my Shinzo. So and honestly, like, for a sec... Yeah, for... She has a great freaking time with, um... With Taro in Inue, brother. Well, first she was kind of upset. She's like, he wouldn't want to sit and do anything. Yeah, because she's like, Stand oh. still. He, he would just keep going. Yeah, and if, don't get ahead. <laughs> like, because uh, with Taro, like, oh, we're going to have a walk in a park and a picnic. And on this walk, she's, like, trying to, like, smell the flowers and be like, oh, look at how pretty it is and blah, blah, blah. And he's just, like, freaking power walking the whole time. Taro, I, I'm sure. Taro in that situation. Yeah, you're very much Taro. And, and then, like, oh, and then we ate, like, 50 unigiri or something. No, 30. Like, 30. It was 30. Yeah, she just ate, and you see this girl just double fist in unigiri. Which, by the way, do you like how a ghost can eat? <laughs> I, is that really the part you're gonna question? No. Anyway, she's, like, freaking going to town on these. And Taro turns to her and was like, wow, you have quite an appetite. And guys, I shit you not, I turned to Adam, and I was just like... I like it, like, as a joke. And then it immediately followed up with him being like, I like it! And he, like, stands up. <laughs> yeah, and he starts eating more. <laughs> yeah, it just, um, it was so cute. And she was having a good time. Kind of reminds me of the fucking, um... Oh, my God, I can't even fucking remember what it was. But just, like, the fuck you, I can't eat all these fucking apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, well, was was that Pony Mob, I want to say? What are those? I don't remember. I think, it, I think that's right, though. <laughs> Goddamn old cartoons. Oh, my gosh. But our our references have gotten so skewed and have mixed together so much. I barely know what we're referencing anymore. But it's just a joke that we both understand and 
No one else understands our humor. Well, except for our inner friend group, but that's also because we Even all have crossed... they cross... don't understand a lot of the time. They just go along with it. Some of them do. Some of them do. But, um... So, and then we go to Inuit Brothers Day. Oh, my God. And they're basically just chilling, like, by a lake or, like, in a park yeah. or something. And, and then, they, like, a couple dogs walk by. She's, she's like, like, oh, like, cute puppies. And he's like... I so you, you like dogs. dogs? And then she's like, yeah. And, and he was like, like Sonic Heroes! <laughs> and then he's... And then, oh, boy, he literally says fawn change, over me. Well, what did the fucking changer say? Because didn't it say, like, something really cute? Like, put your paws... It, no, it's... It said, no. Put your hands up or whatever it was. Like, I, I think it's wonderful. Oh, fucking... I don't remember what they said, but it was like... There was like a dog pun in it. I thought it was... Oh, that cute. might be the subti subtitle people. I don't care. I love it. And he's just like, you know, fought over me. And then she does. She just walks over and starts like, She's like, I couldn't him. go. I can't go into detail. Yeah. And then she keeps his secret. By the way, Inuit Brother is basically like freaking like probably one of the best Sentai people we have seen when it comes to keeping their identity a secret. Like, yeah. You went past it. You went past it. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, no, here it is. And the fact that, like, the guys were into it, too, is actually... Yeah, crazy. they all they helped. Are few ready, that's what it says. Are Instead few of, are ready. you ready? Are uh, few ready. ready? Oh, there you fun, go. Fun over me all you want. It was really cute. And then Kaido... <laughs> Kaido oh goes hard. Uh, he fucking walks in on a... He strolls in on a white motorcycle, a mighty white With steam, a one. <laughs> and he's dressed like fucking Elvis. He knew he that. He has the tassels. He understood the assignment. He's covered in, like, glittering gold and tassels. And he basically stre stretched. He's like, oh, did I keep you waiting? He walks in like a white knight with the biggest dick in all of Japan. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and he was just like, did I have you waiting? And then every and then woman, girl child all ran over to him yeah so the, and then he's like eating it up and he's just he, like well he has to be a nice guy he runs a coffee shop you he needs to make those profits yeah i was like oh my gosh you look so cool can i high five you can i have can i have a picture and then she just kind of gets mad and freaking goes away like, yeah she's he's the, a he, cheater <laughs> he's a hundred percent cheater and she's like, yeah, it was fun, but it wasn't really. Yeah, okay, but then we have the monster. It wasn't. It wasn't my. I've already forgotten his name again. What? Oh yeah. Oh, Shinzo. Shinzo, but it wasn't Shinzo. Yeah, and then like we have everyone looking for Shinzo, and she's like, I couldn't Google him or anything. Yeah, Nothing Kaji I could brother find. But then Kaji brother's, brother's just name. like, is just like, I where have I heard name. that name? And he goes into his Rolodex, and he's just like, yeah, I have this business card. I found him. <laughs> yeah, he screams it in his office, and everyone's like, what the fuck? Yeah, his boss is like, and they the fuck is wrong with you? And they actually find the guy, and he's like 50, obviously, because that was... No, 60-something. Yeah, because that yeah. was like... Yeah, well, I imagine he'd be like mid to late... Well, he, I think they said it was 50 years ago. Yeah, so he'd be like at least like... 60s, 70s. Like, what, like, I'd say like 66 at least? Yeah. Saying they were 16? Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, I remember her. That she was, was my, my first, first love. love. Honestly, I thought they were going to pull the whole, like, oh, he's an asshole card. No, he was really he genuine. Was, he was such a sweet guy. I'm and like, he's... all right, I get it. I get it. And he was played. He, look, he looks so freaking familiar. He looks familiar. And we looked him up. And we recognize a lot of his voice roles. Like, he's a very notorious vo voice actor. Like, he's Geef in. Apparently, um, he's Geef, yeah. In Revise. And he was also, oh, who, who? Kakashi. Kakashi from freaking Naruto. And I'm like, okay, now I get why she would fawn over this guy. Cause That's a good, pretty good were, choice. They were pen pals, and then they started talking on the phone, but they had never really gotten to meet. And one of the things they wanted to do was, okay, we don't want her to see him because we don't know if, like... Like, how we, it's not going to be the picture she's been waiting for. Yeah, so they have him, like, call her on the phone at the time that she was she's been waiting Every day. Every single day for like 50 fucking years. Yeah. And she finally gets the call and he's so sweet. Like even like halfway through they get interrupted because like they're... Because obviously the monster had to do been stuff. There's people that have been trying to take away the phone booth probably just because it's not used anymore. You know, it's just kind of maintenance people doing their job and they keep getting attacked because they keep trying to take it. But um, yeah, and then like they get attacked and everything. 
and she like has to like walk away for a minute and he just stays on like, yeah he just obviously just waits yeah but because she's the monster or her want to protect the phone booth and her on her being unable to go- move on yeah is and like we, the thing, and, and we then see the accident that happened, and it's it nothing. Like, and it's like because you hear, yeah, she died in an accident. Because she also made like a remark where she's like, "Yeah, I never got sick or something. I'm one of the healthiest people." And then gets hit by car by the most yes. common car. Oh my gosh! And one thing I didn't even notice until like I was seeing the scene in which she dies. Like, the fact that it is the middle of summer and she was wearing winter clothes. And in this flashback, you see she has, like, an umbrella and it's, like, snowing. I'm like, oh, I didn't even freaking notice that. But that's, like, a wonderful little... But, yeah, no, and it's, like, he... like, And I like how he's, like, yeah, that was the first girl I fell in love with and everything. So, it's, like, he's gone through his life and has probably processed everything after that. But it's, like... How trippy. But like yeah, he it's like him almost getting able being able to say, say goodbye. goodbye. And then like he there was this yeah. line that just like was very like it just felt bad. It also didn't help. My sister sent me something that made me like already sad. Yeah. I'm not getting into that cuz I don't want anyone to know my weaknesses. Sad too. But, um, um, but yeah, no, him, sentimental. well, yeah, he's like, hey, one, someday we will meet, and it's gonna be in, like, a place filled with, like, light. A beautiful light place, and, like, and I think she even said, like, I, I hope that he's grown, I can tell you've grown into a wonderful man. Well, yeah, it's like a great man and, and everything. Really, it's just, like, with so many things that they could have done, I like, god, this Yeah, broke, and it's like, this, he's like, This yeah. broke my heart, man, it's just like, I feel like these two really could have, like, it could have been they, something. They could have been, like, really something. And it makes me so sad because I... I Taken <laughs> before her time. I, I freaking... There was this one point, like, in the scene where we see her die. First of all, like, after we see her get hit by the car, we see her laying on the freaking ground, a corpse, you know? We just see her dead. Family show. And then I, I tried to joke with you being, like... It's, like, as we, like, have, like, the frame of, like, the phone and in the foreground and her in the background i'm like how would you react if the phone just like rang with her corpse in the background that would be terrible oh my gosh that Uh, would make it way more upsetting where it's like how would you want to bet the writers if they were to hear that they would have been like damn why didn't i think of that i bet you that is something but Uh, like i I slurped my water but yeah no it was honestly a really good episode like good stuff like but meanwhile, that's such a Dawn Brothers kind of thing. Also, it was so fun. It was, so was light hearted. Uh, we there got was, a, like a couple of depressing ass shit in there, but it was like good, good yeah, ass depressing. Yeah, Don Dragoku, Don Dragoku and Don Murasame fight. Ma- isn't it? Is it Murasame? Murasame. Is it Monsoon? I, I keep wanting to say Monsoon Mane, but no, that's that's not that's 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 Kronos. That's, 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 that's Kronos. Okay. But, um. <laughs> um yeah, I mean they weren't really like a big part of the plot. Well, yeah, but I he got he seen him on a date with her though. That would have been. Where's that? Where's my timeline? Where Jero gotta help to oh get date God. the ghost? That would have been interesting. But, yeah. Um, also, I want to know why Saruhara didn't do it. He was just like, no. <sighs> anyway, yeah, this He's... was a great freaking episode, man. And we saw in the preview long noses, and I. I don't understand. We're getting Roxanne next yeah. episode. <laughs> and Don Torval. Yeah, we're finally going to see that other suit. So that's going to be cool. So obviously his dark personality is coming back. Heck yeah. That should be fun. God, can you imagine them doing a Halloween episode? I hope. I hope. We got one in uh, Zenkaiger, I thought, though. Yeah, I want one. I want to see what Don Brothers does for Halloween. That could be fun. Please and thank you. Peas and carrots. <laughs> I was about to say, so, yeah, is there anything else really to talk about? You you went pretty in-depth with, oh, with the whole story where there's nothing really left to talk about. Like, we talked about their date. Like, outside of, like, obviously, like, them fighting the monster part, that wasn't really a big deal. Yeah, it, w- it wasn't the focus of it. I mean... And, like, yeah... You even made some kind of comment about, like, not being able to tell, like, where the suit was... Yeah, like, like, I, I, it's like, because it's definitely one of those that are like, yeah, it's, oh my god, it was a car! Oh! Oh I I never thought about that, yeah, she's the car that hit her, I guess, and I can't tell if it's, it was also, like, blue, 
I don't know if it's supposed to be like Go Onger because we already used Car Ranger, we already used Turbo Ranger, but I guess we could use them again. I mean, it was a v it wasn't a very involved one. They probably just like painted it. Yeah, we didn't even. Also, it was winter and it was on fire. It was blue and also flames and also she got hit by a car. <laughs> but yeah, like the other cool thing is like they couldn't hit the monster. Yeah. Because it was just a ghost. Yeah, like, even, like, the point where we're talking about Kaido, where, like, all the women basically flocked to him. Like, they, like, ran through her. Exactly. Like, she had her ghost moments. Ghost. But, yeah, no. I, she... Honestly, she just... I have to say, this character, the ghost girl, really just kind of reminded me of, like, what I would probably do if I was a ghost. I wouldn't be an asshole and, like, scar people and scare them. I would probably just be a goofball and make faces at them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, about to say like, honestly. Is that not me as a ghost. Come on. I could see it. Also, it's like I'm constantly searching for the man with an Optimus Prime face. <laughs> You'll never find me. I found you. No. Hi, you're mine forever now. But um, but yeah, no. These were two solid episodes. Oh, honestly, good, I liked them both a lot. Again, this is probably my new favorite Don Brothers episode at the moment. Yeah, I feel I like feel it just hit you in the get, rights best. It's only getting better, man. It's only getting better. So I, I remember everyone just saying, like, episode 19 was pretty good. It was fun. It was I so liked good. it a lot. Um, and Decker again. Decker was fun, and I'm really interested to see what's going on. It, I feel like it's building a lot of good moments. And it, but it's like, I also like that it got in-depth to the characters. Yeah, like, no, I mean, not super in-depth, but, like, we're starting to see, like, okay, like, what grounds do you stand on? What's your deal? You know, like, what's, like, the baseline of your... Character. What's your moral compass? Yeah, it's like, where, where do you stand kind of thing. Will you stand or will you fall? Or break your ankle like Decker did? I don't yeah, know. Probably. That's probably what I would do. I'd ragdoll physics down a fucking hill and break every bone in my body. But yeah, no, like, these are two... I'm not very graceful. Honestly, both shows were pretty solid this week. Yeah. Such good stuff. No complaints. Also, I don't know how old the man is that played... Shinzo. He was born in 1980, 1954. Oh. So, like, I think, 60s? I, I think even maybe older, but, like, I'm just like, what is it about, like, Asians where it's, like... They age like fine wine. They age like fine wine. I, like, they're just, like, I think they're just attractive for, like, the entirety of their existence, I swear to God. But, but again, again, you know, obviously, like, this is a media that we're watching. That's basically, like, if... Like, Media I'm, only presents yeah, it's like, beautiful like, people. That, that would be like, oh, like if someone in another country was like, oh, I wonder if everyone in America looks as beautiful as the people on TV. No, we're a bunch of ugly fucks. <laughs> Have you gone to any of the any of the weird places and like like that nobody talks about, like children of the corn places? You would be terrified. Oh, Come on, yes. Uh, not, not even like that, or like, like Leatherface like towns. Oh God, like uh, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, we it's, uh, some wrong turns every once in a while. Well, exactly. You just hear somebody with a shotgun be like, "Get off my land!" And then you hear, and the, then you shit yourself. And then there's the distant twangs of banjos. Like. <laughs> oh my God. But, but yeah, just I, I obviously I'm not ignorant completely to that you know just like you got pretty people okay it's you're very beautiful we want beautiful people in the media and just, especially and just, the beautiful ugly people uh, hey hey you you listening right now you're beautiful you heard that right you the viewer right there right now you're beautiful hey i didn't see you there <laughs> <laughs> just thought you want to say um you could go watch decker for free <laughs> free hey you with the pretty face go watch that you you it's for free on youtube yeah <laughs> Got Martin, i'm not getting paid by <laughs> subaraya could you imagine i oh would have God. not have bought a d flasher if i would have been if subaraya would be paying me i would just you be were, like just send me toys you were so passionate he spit on my face on our i'm sorry don't, say it, don't spray it <laughs> but uh, yeah no i think that's it for this Such week good stuff man but Thank you so much for watching. What did you guys think of both the episodes this week? Um, do you also feel the spooks? Like yeah, I do. <laughs> do you do you feel? Do, I want to celebrate like you're... Halloween. God damn it! Let me celebrate. But yeah, it's my right. It's your. It is my right as a spooky bitch. 
But yeah, no, it, it, it these were two great episodes, honestly. Yes, this was really good. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I'm about to say until next week, I that's know, the most good. exciting part. Like we we get more, we have more. So yay, we get more. So give me more now. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for watching, and until whatever either of us do next. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.